In this video, we're going to show you how to copy your save off of the 360, get it onto the PC version of Skyrim, and then go back onto the 360 again with it. So, hey, cat, get the hell out of there. So, the first thing you got to do is you got to have a USB stick. Insert your USB stick into the Xbox 360's USB ports on the front. And then you gotta go to your memory setting here and uh, go to wherever your profile may be. If, it's, if your profile's on the hard drive, go to Gamer Profiles and pick a Gamer Profile uh, that you're gonna use for this. And then you're gonna select that, you're gonna hit Move, and you're gonna move it onto the USB drive like that. Now, the reason we do that is so that once we put the USB drive into the computer, then you can hash and sign your uh, saves from the PC with the uh, signatures for the proper gamer profile. Okay, so once you've transferred your gamer profile to the USB drive, then when you're in Skyrim, you select that USB drive and save your game onto it. If your save game's on the hard drive, then it's a simple matter of just going in there, going down to Skyrim, eventually, <clears throat> yeah, wait, 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 ah, there it is, okay, go down to Skyrim, pick a game, save, select it, do copy, and then you gotta sign into your profile, but go ahead and then after you do that, uh, sign, sign in, copy it to the USB stick. Okay, so once you've got your save game you want to work with on the memory stick, then basically go down to the memory unit. You're going to find it on there. Just make sure it's there. So make sure the latest save that you've done on your 360 is on that memory uh, stick, on that USB stick. So here I've got save 37, that's my latest save game. I can pull it up, I can see the created time, 9.47 a.m. today. That's right before I went to work, so that's my latest one. So I want to keep it there. Um, just on safekeeping, I might want to copy it uh, to my hard drive to make a backup if it wasn't already on there. Got to sign in to copy it. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this one back to my hard drive on my Xbox. So I've got a backup copy of it there just in case somehow my, my USB stick gets screwed up. I don't lose all my saves, okay? I always want to have a backup copy. Okay, so now that you've got the save file saved onto your memory stick and you're sure everything's good, um, pretty much just exit out. I would even just go ahead and, and turn the Xbox completely off and then take the memory stick out and then we're going to pop it in the computer and do the rest at that point. Okay, so now that you've got your files on the USB stick, go ahead and put that into your computer. Okay, so you're going to want to download Modio, but don't download it from GameTouch site because it's, it's going to send you a W upload and take forever. Go Google Modio underscore 3.0.zip and uh, Mediafire has a download link there. Save that. That way it only takes like 15 seconds of download. Okay, so now that you've got Modio installed, you, you launch it. Um, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open from device and it'll find your memory stick in there. Um, select your your profile, select a game, and you're gonna see a list of saves, sort by date, modified usually. Okay, well that doesn't work, but you know, just go down to the one that you know that you wanna work with, like this is my latest one here. And so, and you see this one at the bottom called save.exs. Well, that's what we're gonna ultimately use in order to put back our save back onto this device but for right now we're loading it from the Xbox so we're going to do save 37 so select that it's going to come up and then just do show file uh, right here show file 
and that's going to bring up a window and so your file is going to be like down here and so now I'm going to go ahead and do file contents see it says save game dot dat so go ahead and do extract file and you're going to want to extract it to your desktop and just call it save game dot e ESS like that so now on our desktop we now have the save game dot ESS file okay so we're gonna go and navigate to documents folder my documents my games Skyrim saves and just drag that save game throw them in here and you'll see it's in there with all these other ones and uh, do load and here we see the save game uh, and you'll notice that's the right one because it'll say the right time and it'll have like this little screenshot up here is going to look like crap so just load that shit now if you see this warning that means that your your version on your desktop computer is like an older version of Skyrim because like I haven't updated my desktop version yet so I would want to update my desktop version before opening this file because my Skyrim on my 360 is newer version but I can still open it if I want to um, I just might risk screwing up some of my quests and stuff like that so as you can see, here we are. I've got my save successfully loaded up on the PC. So let's say that, assuming, just imagine that I go and do some quests or something. So I'm going to come down here. right where I left off on my PC on my uh, 360 version you know so let's say that I want to save now so I can do save new save now I'm going to bring that back to my, my 360 and so that's going to be in video part 2.